Hello, my name is Robert Dean Steele, and this is your daily Bible class. We've been teaching and are teaching on the parables of Jesus. Really excited to share this one with you today. Parable number two is Matthew chapter 9, 17. Listen to what it says here. Jesus says, Neither do men pour new wine into old wineskins. If they do, the skins will burst and the wine will run out and the wineskins will be ruined. No, they pour new wine into new wineskins so that both can be preserved. Now, it's a simple law of physics and as well when it comes to working in this area you realize that if you have new wine, you don't put it into old wineskins. Because what will happen is the wineskins, of course, are um, frayed. They are not prepared properly. And so you pour it in, and before you know it, the wine is all over the place. What Jesus is saying is simply this. He says, you don't take the things of God and put it into an old life or situation. It's impossible. You know, Jesus said, that which is spirit is spirit, and that which is flesh is flesh. The two cannot mix. <laughs> James gives a sincere, or not James, Paul gives a sincere warning to the Galatians when he said, why are you trying to end in the flesh or finish in the flesh what was started in the spirit? When you come to know Jesus Christ, the Spirit of God comes inside of you. He regenerates you. He begins to change you from the inside out. And what can happen is God is doing these wonderful things, and then all of a sudden you come along and say, well, God, you're doing a wonderful thing, but, you know, let me take over. I really do know what's going on. And that's where the old flesh comes in and the old will gets in the way. Jesus says, when you have a new wine, when you have a new message, it's got to be received by the right container, the right receptacle, the right wineskin. And that's why it's so important to allow the Lord to come into your life and change you from the inside out. Don't try and add Jesus to your religious experience or situation. It just doesn't work. Because what happens is you try to mix the two, and they don't mix. <laughs> it's kind of like uh, mixing, uh, I don't know, Vinegar and baking soda, you know what happens? Poof, you get this reaction. God wants you today to take this new wine, this wonderful message of Jesus Christ, pour it into a new heart, a heart that has been changed from the Lord himself from the inside out. Take it and run with it. Let the Spirit of God change you. Now, it was interesting that uh, years ago, I had a, a friend, he was a, a pastor, but he was also a milk farmer. And uh, he gave us a wonderful illustration about, uh, at one time he was involved in the, um, in the wine industry. And he says the only way, he says, that a wineskin can be made new, an old wineskin, is you have to take it, you have to rub it, you have to work with it until it becomes soft and pliable and ready to use again. And he says, you have to be careful because when you pour the new wine in, it may still burst. But the illustration that he was using for that was the fact that some of us are this old wineskins. And what God wants to do is he wants to massage us. He wants to get us re ready to receive the new wine, the new message that we have. You can be an old wineskin, but if you allow the Lord to massage you, you allow the Lord to work in your life, you allow the Lord to uh, uh, minister to you and do the work that he needs to do, you may be just ready to receive the new wine, the new revelation. But the illustration, of course, that Jesus was using here was the fact that he said, listen, you take the new wine and you put it in new wineskins, you can't take an, the new wine and put it in old wineskins, it'll just simply burst. It has to be a work of God. So today, let God work in your heart. Whether it is a brand new message where you're just receiving Christ as your Savior, or if you're an old wineskin, let God work on you until you're ready to receive His message, His new message, His new revelation in your heart. 
My name is Robert Dean Steele. You have yourself a great and godly day. This is your daily Bible class.